Hi, and welcome back to Smart Ass, the Think Fast Talk First to Win Game. Today we're going to be playing Smart Ass the Game Show, and I'm your host, Bob Moog. And my co host is AQ. Say hello, AQ. Hello, AQ. <laughs> we're going to be playing today in three rounds uh, the, with three contestants. In round one, we ask people to describe a mystery topic, and we read clues and the race is to see who can identify the mystery topic first. Our contestants are playing for real prizes at rugame.com. And our third place winner will get $100 in gift certificates. Our second place winner will get 200 and our first place winner plays in the speed round for an opportunity to win up to $1 million. Uh, today's returning champ is Craig Hendrickson. Craig, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hey, thanks for joining us again. Yeah. Then we also have with us two other contestants who we've invited back because they were so competitive last time that it went down to the final question. The first is our international friend from the UK, Mike Brighty. Hello, Mike. Hello, everyone. And we how have are you? Moogie, we have Moogie Brooks joining us, who also was leading after round one last time and just missed winning by one question. Um, how are you today, Moogie? I'm doing great. You're doing better, that's good. That's a good answer and that's better than the answer you gave us last time. So we're happy to have you well, with us. Well, that was last week. That was last week, you're doing better <laughs> today. Good. So here we go. The way this works is I'm gonna tell you that I'm a famous person and we're gonna start with, uh, we'll start with the champ, with Craig. He'll get the first clue. Then we'll go to Mike and then we'll go to Moogie. Who am I? I could be living or dead, real or fictional, male or female. I also can be a cartoon character that has a personality or a group like the St. Louis Cardinals. And here we go, starting with Craig, our champ. I'm a fictional character from the movies, Craig. What would you guess? Fictional character from the movies. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is a good guess. He was played by Tom Hanks, of course, but that's not correct. And then we go to Mike. Mike. My character has been played by more than five different actors. James Bond. James Bond is a good guess, Mike. What made you think it was James Bond? Because I can think of more than five actors that played him. And he is fictional, and he was in the movies. Yeah. Well, you know what, Mike? You are correct. It is James Bond. You wow. figured it out with only two clues. And Mike gets 10 points. We have five cards in this round, and each card is worth 10 points. We now go to, it's Craig, Mike, Moogie. So we go to Moogie. Moogie. Only the elephant and hippo are bigger than me. Only the elephant and hippo are bigger than me. What am I? Tiger. A tiger, that's a really good guess, but that's not correct. Now we go to Craig. Craig, I live in Africa and Asia. Um, rhino. Rhino is correct for 10 points. Rhinoceros. Only the elephant and the hippo are bigger than the rhinoceros in terms of mammals. Where am I? This goes to you, Mike. You get the first clue. I am a mountain. What mountain would I be? Everest. Mount Everest is correct. Mike has gotten two in a row on the first clue that he's gotten. Good job, Mike. Was that a guess or was that a deductive logic thing that got you to the answer on that one? Complete guess. Complete guess. We have two left. Uh, it's still anybody's game and we go to Moogie. Moogie, let's see if you have the kind of telepathy that Mike had. I am a sport played with a ball. What am I? Football. Football is a good guess. That's incorrect. Craig, I can... I can be played indoors and outdoors. Basketball. Basketball is correct for 10 points. Good job, Craig. And now we go to Mike. Mike, who am I? I am a singer and I was born in 1989. This should be right up Moogie's alley. Mike, what's your answer? I'm a singer and I was born in 1989. Adele. Adele is a good guess. She, I think she's a little bit older than that. Um, Moogie, I'm the youngest ever Grammy Album of the Year winner. Um, 
1989. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm the youngest ever Grammy album of the year winner. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is correct. Good job. Yeah, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so did you get that by deductive logic or did you just guess? Uh, I, I just guessed, but I think I subconsciously knew. Okay. <laughs> that's good. Okay. That's the end of round one. AQ, can you give us a recap? I think everybody scored in round one, didn't they? They sure did. So at 20 points apiece, Craig and Mike are tied for first, and Moogie got on the board with this last question with 10 points. So as we look at the score entering round two, we see Craig at 20, Mike at 20, Moogie at 10. It's still anybody's game. In round two, we're going to have uh, the questions will each be worth 20 points, and there are going to be six of them. Before I go over the rules for round two, I would just like to say hello to each of you. Craig, our returning champ, um, what have you been up to the last week since we, had, we, we last met and had this competition? Enjoying summer. Oh, you're enjoying the summer. That's I'm fantastic. enjoying the summer, yeah. It's good. Do you enjoy it by yourself or with um, colleagues from work or with your family? I go on walks, go on walks in the neighborhood with the family. It's That's good. fantastic. Yeah. We're really happy to hear that. And then, Mike, um, how is the weather over there in England? You know, now that we're getting into late, into early July, how, uh, how are things there? It's getting very warm. It's very typical. It's raining today, but it's, um, it's getting warm. It's nice. Good. Lovely. And we, uh, we really appreciate you joining us. As I've said, you know, the last time that you were on with us, you're our first international contestant. And we really are doing some groundbreaking game show playing today, having people from different continents all competing together. Moogie, how, is, how has your day been today? You said you, you were doing well when we asked you at the beginning of the show. Um, anything in particular you're doing now that's new in your life? Nothing in particular. Okay. Um, are you spending more time outdoors or indoors? Uh, no, just hanging out here in my purple room. That's great. Well, your purple room is great, and we love your, the shade you've picked. The purple tells us a lot about your personality. Now we're going to get on to round two. This is going to be kind of an all-play kind of thing, where I'm going to read the clues to the mystery topics quite, um, slowly, and when one of the contestants thinks they know the answer, they're going to sound off their... Uh, sound device. Moogie, why don't you let us hear what yours sounds like? I'll, I'll recognize Moogie and he won't yell out the answer until I recognize him. Mike, what does yours sound like? Okay, that's a little hard to hear, but I, I get the idea. Make sure that you're shaking it so I can at least see your hands moving if I can't hear it. Yeah, that's good. And Craig, what does your sound device sound like? Okay, and that's really that you can hear it sounds like he's pounding someone in the face. He's using that uh, to intimidate the other contestants, and so far it has worked. Uh, again, you only get one guess per mystery topic. If you guess correctly, you get 20 points. If you guess incorrectly, you've got to stay out of that card until it is finished. What am I? I am most often used at night. You find me in the bedroom. I can emerge from couches sometimes. Yes, Moogie. Mattress? A mattress is correct. Very good. And I believe based on our research, your grandfather used to make mattresses. Is that right? Well, he didn't, but no. he sold them. He sold them. Okay. <laughs> he was not a mattress stuffer. I heard he was a mattress stuffer. He was a mattress tycoon. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Here's the next clue. This is Moogie got 20 points. Um, hands on sounds. I'm a famous person. I could be living or dead. Real or fictional, male or female. Here are your clues. I am male. I'm a legendary hero. I lived in the 14th century in Europe. I, yes, Mike. Dracula. Dracula is a great guess, but it's incorrect. Mm. I hail from Switzerland. Dracula was from Transylvania. I became an enemy of Gessler the Bailiff. Rosini wrote an opera in my name. I was the most skilled crossbowman in all of Switzerland. I shot an apple off my son's head. Mike, you've already guessed. I know. <laughs> Craig, 
Moogie? Okay, let me keep giving you clues. My last name rhymes with hell. Okay. Who am I with the initials W-T? Yes, Craig. William Tell? William Tell is correct. I don't know who that is. You don't know who William Tell is? No, and I want to know who's Mike hanging out with that Dracula is a hero. <laughs> you don't William know Mike that well. <laughs> William Tell is the famous guy who shot the arrow off his son, the apple off his son's head um, to, in order to prove what a good marksman he was. And then there was the William Tell Overture, which was the theme to the Lone Ranger show in the 1950s, which might have been before your time, Moogie. Just a little Moogie, bit. You're, you're, Moogie, you're going to know this one, okay? Is everybody ready? I became popular in 1904 at the St. Louis World's Fair. I am generally, I generally come in different shades and colors. I am something you can eat. I am considered a sweet treat. They serve me in St. Louis, Missouri, yes. Ice cream? Ice cream or ice cream cone is the answer. Very Ooh. good. <laughs> Nice. Very good. Here's the next 20 points. Here's the next one. I'm another food. I am fried in fat or oil. Many food chains sell me. Yes, correct. French fries. French fries is incorrect. Mm. Um, many food chains sell me exclusively. My center is usually empty. Yes, Mike. A donut. A donut is correct. Very good for 20 points. We have two, two cards left here in round two. Where am I? I'm a location. I am on an island. In the American Civil War, I was a military barracks. My name means pelican in Spanish. In 1933, I became a federal penitenti penitentiary. My nickname is The Rock. Yes, Mike. Alcatraz. Alcatraz is correct. We have one card left. AQ, can you give us a recap on round two before I read the final card? I sure can. So, going into the end of round two, we've got Moogie, or Mike in the lead at 60 points, Moogie in second place with 50, and Craig hanging in there with 40 points. Okay. This is the final card in the round. This card is worth 20 points. Based on the score, it's still anybody's game. And here we go. What am I? Contestants, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I am a specific make and model of car. I was especially popular in the 1960s. At one point, I was the world's best-selling automobile. I share my name with a musical group popular in the 60s. Yes, Craig. Volkswagen Beetle? Volkswagen Beetle is correct. Craig pulls from behind, and he's now tied with Mike. We're going to have a tiebreaker. Are you guys ready for the tiebreaker? Yes. OK, good. Here it comes. Where am I? Are you ready? I'm a European country. Here's a slight edge to Mike. My flag is red, white, and blue. Yes, Craig. France? France is not correct. If Mike gets this correct, Mike will become our new champion. There are four more clues, Mike. So if you can get it, you can wait to hear all four, or you can guess when you're ready. Fishing, forestry, and petroleum are major industries here. One third of me lies inside the Arctic Circle. Vikings sailed from my coast to North America. And your final clue, I am famous for my beautiful fjords. Where am I, Mike? Uh, I've got a choice of two. Um, Norway. I'm sorry, <sighs> Craig. You're no longer the champion. Mike got it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a new winner. 
which is Mike, Craig, you come in second place. Moogie, you come in third. And are you ready for your 60-second speed round, Mike? I am. Okay. Now, the way this works is you will get $10 for each correct answer. But if you get 15 in 60 seconds, you will win $1 million. Are you ready? I am ready. Uh, Annika, start the clock. Where am I? I'm a Latin American country. I'm the northernmost country on my continent. My flag is red, white, and blue. I am home to the llama and alpaca. To the north Peru. of me, where? Peru. To the north of me is Peru. My capital is Santiago. My name reminds one of how Colombia. No, not Colombia. Um, pass. Pass. Okay. I'm a favorite food. Uh, I, I'm, I go with jelly on a sandwich. I can be smooth or crunchy. Peanut butter. Peanut butter is correct. I'm an American president. I won the Nobel Peace Prize. Um, I am was the inspiration for the teddy bear. I led the rough rough. Roosevelt. Ride. That's correct. Um, I'm a country. I'm in Asia. Bangkok is my capital. Thailand. Um, that's correct. Um, I'm an infamous fictional character. Mike thinks that I was a hero. A Dracula. That's Dracula. correct. Uh, we're out of time. Let's see if you got 15. One, two, three, four. You got hung up on chili. That was what's chili, yeah, chili. But you got four correct. That's 40 uh, points, which converts into dollars. You're our new champion, Mike. Congratulations. You're the first champion in the history of Smart Ass, the game show from outside the United States. This is quite an embarrassment for Moogie and Craig to let a Brit win. And um, I would like to give them an opportunity to have some revenge. Are you willing to do that, Mike? Will you take those two on again? I would love to. Okay, then if they're willing to come back, if they're not too embarrassed, we'd like to invite you guys both back next time. And let's see if you can, one of you can beat Mike. Craig, you willing to come back and try to regain your title? Yes. Okay, and Moogie, how about you? I'll be there. You'll be there. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. It's now time to say goodbye. And the way we say goodbye on Smart Ass the Game Show is we say go big, be a smart ass. So join me in that. One, two, three. Go, go big, big. Go go big. Ass. smart ass. All right. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next time. And thanks for tuning in to Smart Ass the Game Show and based on Smart Ass the Board Game, available at stores everywhere and on rugame.com. Thank you.